Hello guys, I am here in Khartoum, Sudan. Well, actually, I'm in Omdurman, which is across the Nile River from Khartoum, but it's basically the same city. And today, I'm going to take you guys on a walk through Souk Omdurman, which is absolutely enormous. It's a huge market here in Omdurman, and I just got here. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Chaotic, busy, loud. There are so many people. So yeah, this video might be a little different than my other videos. I'm gonna keep it pretty informal and just walk and see what I can find and see what we can what we can discover and what I can show you. So check out the scene around me. And I think this is only the outskirts of the of the market. It is absolutely enormous apparently. So I'm gonna head straight through there and yeah, let's go. This place is absolutely insane. What's up? <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I was just reading a little bit. Apparently this is one of the largest markets in all of Africa. It is absolutely enormous. I'm going through the clothes section clearly right now. Excuse me. And um, yeah, it's overwhelming. <laughs> I'm definitely the only tourist here. That sound that you're hearing is people advertising what they're selling in these really loud, muffled sounding um, microphones, or uh, megaphones. I don't know how they all compete. I mean... Crazy. I'm gonna keep walking, see if we can find the different sections. Maybe I'll find a souvenir that's worth buying, I'm not sure. I try not to buy too much stuff since I'm traveling full time now, but... Let's keep it going. What's up, man? <laughs> that was weird, that guy was <laughs> so friendly on video then I took my phone out and tried to take his picture because uh, he kept waving to me and stuff and the guy next to him absolutely freaked out and like made me delete it and stuff so whatever. Most people seem pretty friendly here though. Hey! Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Ah, camera. Say hello. <laughs> hello, my friends. Hello, what's your name, Masmak? My name is Muhammad Al Fadr. Muhammad Al Fadr. It's me, Douglas. It's me, Douglas. 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 Yeah. MashaAllah, Allah. You have a lot of fun. What are you doing? Ah, just walking. When? I'm just exploring. Douglas, when? France, when? Oh, oh, me? Uh, I'm American. You want to go uh, America? Inshallah. Lottery. Me Arabi, Shwe Shwe. I Arabi Yeah. Lottery. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. America. You like it? Small camera. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Gahwa, okay. Hajjabradi. Hello, welcome. Hey, whoa, I'm fine. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Sudan. Thank you so welcome. much. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm getting uh, some coffee here, yeah? Cafe. Oh, Jabana. Coffee. Jab coffee. Coffee. Jabana. Ah, coffee. Jabana. Ah, Jabana. Ah, coffee. Ginger, yeah? Aragi. So this coffee, this uh, coffee that they make here, it's, it's like coffee with ginger. And it kind of burns your throat, but it's really good. I'm sorry to say to my uh, Egyptian followers and, and friends, but I like the coffee way better in Sudan. Coffee Sudan. Yeah, it's very good. Coffee, coffee Sudan. Here, who are Jawana Sudan? Here, in Africa, Sudan. Coffee, Mia, Mia. Mia, Mia. Mia, Mia. Sudan, Tama, Mia, Mia. Yeah, yeah, Mia, Mia. La la, ha, kulu Tama. Mia, Mia means like good. Coffee, America. Coffee, America, Mia, Mia. Mia, Mia. Yeah, I will. Sudan or America, coffee. Uh, for me. America. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what I'm used to. Like a, but I, this is really good. Mia Mia. Mia Mia. Mia Mia. Yeah, yeah. But it's different in America. YouTube. Yeah, I will. YouTube. 
Yeah, channel. Anyway, they put, uh, you can order your coffee here with ginger in it, and it like burns your throat, but it's that kind of like. So, on Burman. It's like wakes you up kind of burn. So it's uh, it's, it's good. And um, as I was saying, I like it better than Egypt because it's not Turkish coffee. It's Ethiopian. Ethiopia, yeah? Coffee, Ethiopia? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't have all of the coffee grounds in it. It doesn't have all the coffee grounds in it, so it's not like getting caught in your throat. It's very, very, very good. I think I'm kind of a novelty here in the market. Everyone's looking at me. Uh oh. They're fighting over there. Yes. Fighting. There's a big fight happening. I don't think I will film that anymore. I don't want to get in trouble for that. Okay, let's walk the other way and keep exploring. By the way, if some of you watching from the West are concerned that this is like sketchy or dangerous in any way for me to be walking around here alone as the only tourist, the only white person here, I don't think it is. Because even if one person was to get mad at me or try to start some problem, I think there's enough good people around and, and people that would, would step in and you know, help me out, so that's why I feel comfortable in a place like this because there's a lot of friendly people. Thank you, thank you, man. Shukran. Camera. <laughs> Say hello. Shukran. Where are you, bro? An Americani. America? Aywa. Canada or Maya? No, no, America, New York. New York? Yeah. Inshallah. How are you? Kept Tama? I, 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 I. Yeah, it's a camera. I want to visit America. Inshallah. A jungle of shoes everywhere. Rows and rows and rows and rows of shoes. Sweets, candy. So many rickshaws. I think most people in America and the West associate rickshaws or tuk-tuks with India, but uh, that is far from the only place where you can find them. They're really found pretty much all over the developing world, especially in a lot of Africa, um, Southeast Asia, all over the place. Cheaper than a taxi and more fun, and sometimes they can weep through traffic and get you there quicker. Whoa, a lot of exhaust on this street. These uh, tuk-tuks or rickshaws, unfortunately, make a ton of uh, exhaust, so this whole street is really polluted. You can feel it in your eyes, wow. Oh my gosh, so much is happening. <laughs> oh man. There's a thing on Google Maps here, like as part of the market called the the bird souk. Oh my god, I'm so, in the middle of so many cars. I'm trying to go find it, I think it'll be cool. Let's see. This is insane. There's not really sidewalks, and if they do have them, they're filled with stuff that people are selling. So you have to walk through the middle of the street, basically. And there are cars and rickshaws everywhere. It's so chaotic. Okay, reached a bit of a bit of a calmer area.
So it's interesting, I just pulled out my phone to take another picture of the area behind me. And uh, again, some shopkeeper was like, no pictures. But he wasn't angry this time. He was just telling me, and he's like, government. like So I guess it's a rule in the market, you're not allowed to take pictures. For some reason, no one's yelled at me for this camera yet. Maybe because it's small and doesn't really look like a camera, but I don't know. Anyway, I found the street where they sell birds, and it looks like they have some other animals over there as well. So let's go check it out. Here it is. Hey guys. And look at this guy. We got a monkey. Hey buddy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mostly birds. It's like a it looks like a huge pigeon. Jeez. Mostly birds and one monkey. Why monkey? <laughs> Is he nice? Some of them? He bite you? Nice. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> he's saying he'll bite you if you put your finger in there. What has he got there? A little bit of orange? Hey dude. What's up? Wow. Shukran. Got some uh, parakeets here. Look at this. Ducklings. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they, they look like they're excited to see me. They're gonna eat my finger. Ow! Got some bunnies. I wonder if they're for food or not. The rabbit. For eating or no? No, okay. <laughs> so these rabbits are just for pets. They're nice, nice rabbits. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, hi buddy. <laughs> Shukran. Wow, a turtle. You guys have so many animals here. Wow. <laughs> African turtle. Yeah. Look at this. What's up, dude? Shukra. Hey. More? <laughs> All right, now they're giving me the tour. Oh, a cat. <laughs> hey, kitty. He's a nice cat. Wow. I'm going to see how much they would sell me this monkey for, just out of curiosity. How much monkey? Sudanese pound, how much? Sudanese pound yeah. is going to be uh, 10, 10 million. 10 million? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Let's see what that is. 10, 1, 2, 3, yeah. 1, 2, million. 3, like that. Yes, like this. No. No, that's 10 million. That's $26,000. It can't be that much. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Bring it, bring it again. How much US dollar? In a dollar? Yeah. How much the dollar today? Good question. Good question. Sudanese pound, you'd give uh, 10,000? Million. 10, that's, 10 impos million. that's impossible. No. That's $20,000. Here we call this. All right, sometimes it's a little confusing to understand prices here because they call thousands, millions, and it's so sometimes they'll say 10 million and they really mean 10,000. So I just got a clear answer. They would sell me this monkey for 10,000 pounds Sudanese, which is $25. So this monkey could be mine for 25 bucks. Guys, it's starting to get dark. Hopefully I can brighten this up, but look at these chicks. Let me see if I can use the light here. Look at them. That's probably bad for them, I guess, but it's kind of funny looking. So guys, I was talking to the guy who, uh, one of the guys who was running a, a pet shop over there, one of the bird stores, and I was asking him, do you guys like domesticate these monkeys? Like, was it, was it bred here and, and sold as a pet regularly? And he was like, no, I go down to Dinder National Park in the south of Sudan and catch it with a net. <laughs> yeah, facing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Huh? Online? No, it's just normal camera. Uh oh. Oh. Hey. Oh my god. This is no this is no Sudan. This uh you know to sit? Yeah, but this is Chinese camera. Chinese. But I'm American. Yes, it's good. Hi. How are you? Yeah. You be on YouTube. How are you? How are you? You are winner. Alhamdulillah. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. Take care. What's up? Hello? Kef. Kef Ali. Alhamdulillah. These guys are making fun of me, I think. I don't know. This kid's laughing an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I, I can't understand anything they're saying, but that's okay. <laughs> What's so funny? He's laughing so much. Okay, bye guys. Masalama. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Huh? Where I sleep? In Khartoum. I'm going to Khartoum. Yalla. Masalam. <laughs> well, anyway, as I was saying about the monkey, the guy was saying he just goes to the national park here in uh, in Sudan like once a month or once every three weeks and just catches a monkey or two, brings it back here and sells it to someone as a pet. I didn't want to put it on video because I assume that's probably illegal, so I didn't want the guy to get in trouble. Excuse me. So I didn't want the guy to get in trouble, but uh. Pretty interesting. That was definitely the most exotic animal I saw there, but they also had ostriches. He said even sometimes you can find like lions there and stuff. He's like, you can find any animal here if you come at the right time. I, I, who knows if that's true or not, but anyway, it's getting dark. It's time for me to get out of here, I think. The market seems to be closing up, so I am going to find a cab back to Khartoum. All right, guys, I'm using my iPhone flashlight here to light myself. It is pretty dark here. As you can see, if I don't use the light, um, street lights here are not working in Omdurman, really. I see one that's like a little bit on over there, but I guess they're not working so well. So the city does take on a bit of an eerie vibe after dark, just because it's, it's really dark on the streets. Anyway, that's going to basically conclude this video, little tour of this market here in Omdurman. I think that was probably the craziest, biggest, most intense, chaotic market I've ever seen in all my travels. I'm trying to think and I can't think of anything that was more hectic or busier. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. If you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely check that out. I'm always posting updates there and doing live streams and things like that. And please, 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 if you haven't yet, do consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps me out and keeps me making more videos from around the world. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,